Hello everyone and welcome back to another edition of Rich T Racing and today we're going to be talking about a, a breaking news story. It was, it's got re released in the past few hours that Alexander Albon will be replacing Pierre Gasly for the remainder of the 2019 season starting in Belgium. With me is the the amazing James Derrick. Unfortunately we don't have Pedos with us because he is at work but Derek, why don't you say hello? Hello everyone. Yes, hello indeed. So we'll get straight into it. Derek, what do you think about Albon being... First of all, what do you think about Gasly being dropped? We'll start with that because I feel like that's the, the main point of sort of what's been going on in 2019 so far. I think um, it's quite unfortunate, really. I mean, he was he was really good in the Toro Rosso cars and he did a great job and definitely deserved that seat over anyone else, I thought. But I think the car just doesn't agree with his driving style. He has a very aggressive driving style. So when it comes to uh, the Red Bull, it's, for some reason, it just doesn't agree with the way he drives. And so it doesn't work for him. And so, fair enough, Red Bull should drop him because the car doesn't work for him. And he has had opportunity to um, prove that he can change his style and get better with the car. But you can't have... Max winning and lapping your teammate. That's just, that's not okay. It doesn't matter who it is, they should be dropped. Yeah, I agree. And especially the fact it's now happened twice. It happened in Austria and it's now happened in Hungary. And yeah. especially especially as well that Gasly was in front of Verstappen on lap one of Austria and then he got lapped as Verstappen went on to win the race. I, I just think that's absolutely ridiculous. And he needed to be dropped, and it's unfortunate because he is a good driver, and he's mm. you know. Well, he, 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 he showed that at Britain, where he actually he had his best race of the year, was was finally close to Verstappen, and you and I think everyone's thinking like, because when you well, for, for me, when you move from a small team to a big team, you do need that adjustment period. Obviously, Leclerc's proved being the exception to that rule, but well, you say that, but yeah. he isn't driving the best. I know, but he still he still got pole in his in in his second race for Ferrari, so that shows he at he at least had the car where he wanted it from yeah, from sort of the start. Gasly's obviously had, he's had a very slow start, but I think we when that race in Britain happened, we thought okay, this is the, this is Gasly turning a corner. He's now he's going to now be doing what Red Bull want him to do, being i.e. being a little bit slower than Verstappen, so they can have the one the one two driver preference. But then he's also he'll he'll be there if Verstappen isn't. That's what I thought. That's what I think we all thought was going to happen. And then in Germany, yeah. he's he's quite close in qualifying, and he's I think what what were they? They were second and fourth on the grid. And then he, and then just he had a shocking race, and now Hungary's happened, and it's just he's back to the basics. And I think for me, I think it is I, again. I completely agree. It is the correct decision, and it's just it's just it's. I feel I do feel sorry for Gasly, but at the same time. You can't you you can't perform the way he has and expect to just carry on racing for the rest of the season. In my humble opinion. Well, exactly. That's the thing. Yeah. Isn't it? And it's it's um, that's why Albon's got the seat, isn't it? Yeah. Is I I but... yeah. I think Gasly's now got a very good opportunity to show himself against Kvyat because Ki like we'll get on to Kvyat in a moment, but Kvyat's Kvyat is also a very good driver. Kvyat currently is still out qualified Albon for the first half of the season, so it will be a good test to see if like if Gasly was if because you, you said earlier Gasly had a really good season in Toro Rosso and yes he did but at the same time Hartley wasn't really much of a driver and that fourth place Gasly got was a lit in Bahrain I thought was a little bit lucky and it was a bit like yeah, but yeah. You yeah. can't say that about Hartley. He's just got Alonso's seat in WC and then a seat in Geox in Formula E. You can't say he's not much of a driver when he's in the winning WC team. I know, but like when when thinking of that's WC, but then thinking of Formula One, Hartley was not. He wasn't much in Formula One. But I think I think Hartley was. He was brought in to Red Bull because he was one of only a few options they had. And. True. Yeah, so in for, in Formula One terms, I don't think Hartley was much of a driver. In other races, okay, fine. He's obviously he has obviously got a lot of talent, but I was always like when Gasly got the CSC, yeah, fair enough. But I wasn't massively convinced at that point. So it will be interesting to see what he go, what he's like against a proven and a, a proven F one driver who's just got a podium with this Toro Rosso team. That's true. I think that yeah, I think that's a good point. Yeah. Um, totally, totally agree. 
Yeah, fair enough. So we just just mentioned him. So we'll come on to Kvyat now. Do you think Kvyat's been a bit hard done by here? Um, I think yeah, because well, as we've already said, he's out qualified Albon in the first half of the season, mm-hmm. and he's I think he's performed better on track, but yeah, like it's hard because. Just to give just to give you this just to give you the stats, Kvyat's got twenty seven points to Albon sixteen, and Kvyat obviously has a court scored a third in Germany, and an Albon was sixth. So Kvyat race wise, and so the stats say that Kvyat has had a better season, but I'm gonna. It's like Germany, isn't it? Yeah, but I'm gonna I'm gonna contradict myself a little bit because I say you say we say that Kvyat's out qualified Albon this year, before Canada that it was five one in favor of Kvyat, and now. After German, after Hungary, it's it's now gone up to six five still to Kvyat, but obviously in the past five races, Albon's out qualified Kvyat four to one. So Albon's obviously he's 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 been coming back, and I reckon that might be why Albon that might be one of the reasons Albon's been given the drive because he has been you can see the rate of improvement he's had. I agree. I also think that uh, he seems quite mature in his racing. You can tell mm. just from um, the last race where him and Kvyat were battling together. Yes, and I he wasn't. Yeah, being aggressive too aggressive or nope. too soft he was perfect and there was no com- there was no moaning or complaining on the radio it's like oh cuz imagine if that were magnuson and grosjean they'd have been Absolutely. they'd they'd have been like oh, R- grosjean would have been like oh he's so close to me this black flag or this cuz that's just what grosjean's like but when album kid i don't think they was there even any team radio i think they just got on with the business of racing and it was so close and so well fought like what was it the first four corners, they were side by side and no contact. Yeah, absolutely. Yeah, and it was it was great racing as well. It wasn't even. Yeah, yeah. It was just really good. And I think, yeah, I think it's hard to. It would be really difficult. You know, like imagine if you were Helmut Marco or Christian Horner. Is that choose yeah? Between Kvyat and Albon, it would be really tight. Yeah, I but the, there's the sort of, the thing, main thing I think for Kvyat though is that he has had that opportunity. He has raced for Red Bull and. The whole thing about Kvyat, Kvyat being dropped, then being dropped again, then being brought back briefly, then being dropped, now he's back. And then it could be, oh, now... No, promote him again. Yeah. Well, you, you say that. I've, oh, yeah. I, I've, I've developed a theory, and I, I'm very good at, with my theories. I think... Yeah. So, they've now... Red, Red Bull going... They say, they're saying they're evaluating what to do for 2020. At the end of this season, then, they will have three drivers who have all driven for both Toro Rosso and Red Bull, so they will have free, they will have direct comparisons between all of those drivers. Kvyat's got a bit more experience in the Red Bull. He's obviously on his way back, and then Albon and Gasly will have similar time in the Red Bull together. So they can they, they then they then got so many options going into the twenty twenty season as to who will partner Verstappen. And I think I think that could fa- that could also factor in why Albon has been given the drive because they say so they can see what he's like in a in a fast car and then compare him to the two other drivers. I think when you put it like that, that's absolutely perfect. And they've definitely chosen the right driver when you put it like that, I think. Because I guess it isn't a choice between Albon and Kvyat or Gasly as well. It's like for this season, because they've lost this season, like as in constructor points, like yep. they can't get it back. So I think, or in, unless Albon's second every race, you know what? But, unless, well, yeah, unless it turns out Albon is as good, it, it, unless it turns out that Albon is as good as Verstappen in the Red Bull. Because I think Red, if 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 they'd had if if it turns out Albon is seriously good in the Red Bull, they could easily have been second in this in the constructors, and then that will be down to Gasly being in the car. Yeah, absolutely. But I guess from their point of view, they don't lose anything by putting Albon in this, yep. this half of the season. Exactly, and I think if looking at how Red Bull, because obviously Red Bull the past few seasons they've started slow and then got better as the season's gone on. This year, they, the first few races they were. Sort of, they weren't quite there, but now now they've come into the season much earlier than usual. So you'd like to think that they can then maybe carry that forward into twenty twenty and maybe challenge, properly challenge Mercedes. And if they have, and if yeah, but, but last year yep. they were really strong at the tail end of the season, and then at the start of this season they had, well, okay, they weren't bad, but they weren't great. Maybe that was the change to Honda, but yeah, I think we well, yeah, and you can see it, yeah, you see we see how Hondas progress. I, for, for, for me, I think we'll just, obviously we don't want to, this to run on too long. I think just to wrap up to an extent, I think Albon being in the car is a, fan, is, is a fantastic move. And considering how Honda are progressing as well, they can only get stronger. And then yeah. if they've got... I mean, they, yeah. 
if they're like you see the amount that they progress each race it's not like every three races or every six it's every single race they bring minor upgrades and mm. you know they have the whole factory back at honda yep. working on these engines all the time so they're just going to get better and they're chucking so much money into it that exactly they're going to be a formidable yeah. engine and also red bull are not it's not just they're not just competitive uh, tracks that are sort you would think uh, that are red bull tracks like the hungara ring and monaco they're competitive at pretty much everywhere they go now they you know, they they, were, they won at a, they won at a track that is designed for straight line speed which is since red bull became strong has always been their their downfall they've never had a straight a fast straight line car but so, now all of a sudden they they appear to yeah well i think that that's it just shows how good honda are mm -hmm. and, you know i think i think i think sorry we're trailing off a bit going yeah we yeah we're getting off we're getting slightly off topic but just really quick, if you see like how long the Hondas run at their top end, you know, like in the race, Verstappen yep. is on mapped power most of the race, and you can't do that in a Merc or a no. Ferrari. Yeah, absolutely. And I think, I think it's amazing. yeah, and then so just just for Reb, I think putting Albon in the car is brilliant because that gives them free options for twenty twenty. Because Ki Ki like I think Kvyat can't be discounted as well. He's having a very good season with Toro Rosso, and. He he knows how to race with Red Bull. He's he's got podiums. He outdid Daniel Ricciardo. I th so I think it's all looking very positive for Red Bull, and I think it's a very good move getting Albon into the car. Absolutely. Yeah. But just one last thing. I yep. think what the choice with driver is going to be because mm -hmm. obviously the Red Bull team is Verstappen's team, really. Yep. I I think the car is set up for the way that Verstappen drives, so I think that it depends on how the driver drives the car and if they drive similarly yep. to Verstappen they're going to do better than if they don't exactly yeah I think and that that will all obviously this is all speculation it could turn out that Albon is as rubbish as as or when I say rubbish I mean he performs as badly as Gasly has this season and it could be just that it is it's just purely a Max Verstappen car right I think <laughs> I think have, 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 we, have we have we sort of agreed with each other we have, which is very strange. This, we, the, yeah, you might if, if, to, the, to the people who, who are watching this. They, we we rarely ever agree on anything, so this we're we're in uncharted territory here. We normally agree but disagree on most of the stuff. Yes, we we'll, we will we'll eventually agree, but it will take us about this. It will take us much longer than this to reach a point of agreement. But I think we shall. I think I think we'll, we'll end it there. I think we both agree. Albon is a very good is a very good choice, and it's all looking very positive for red bull so on that note derek do you want to say goodbye goodbye and i shall also say goodbye goodbye <laughs>